In this tutorial, I'm going to present seven websites to look for resources for your academic studies. So the first source is Scoopus and it's used to search for literature, export the literature in Excel and even do what we call automatic referencing. So here in sources, I can just uh, click search instead of sources and then search documents that contain, for instance, liquor scale analysis okay so then i can start searching and here is a list of all the searches that i have i can set up search alert save this search i can filter this search using different filters like by author names by subject area by document type by source title by publication stage keyword affiliation sponsor and even the country and date language etc so let's search for recent articles let's say within this range and click uh, search again and here is the search so i can just scroll down these uh, let's say materials i can uh, read the abstract if i want and then i can import these let's say uh, research paper suppose that I'm interested in these three research papers here in the display can even display up to 200 uh, search results so there are different ways I can for example import all the 200 let's say search results I need to go to show more and then create bibliography and then I will just click select And then it will ask me about the citation style. Here I will choose the EPA style. So before continuing uh, the exportation of the reference list, here I try to filter these results further because 2000 articles seem to be a lot to me. So here I just filtered the most relevant papers, like 63 papers. I need to display all here. I can even refine the search results by screening the abstracts and seeing which articles to include, which articles to exclude, especially if I'm doing a systematic literature review. So then I can again export this data. So here I can export it as CSV file and I need to export, for example, bibliographical information, not everything, just some of it, abstract and keywords, so everything here that can be clicked. So I need to customize it. I need just the abstract. Here I need the publisher, the editor, and here I need the author and the year. That's it. Maybe the volume, the issues, the pages, etc. in case I want to uh, publish the, or rather reference the article uh, in, in addition to the DOI number or digital here I can save it as a preference. Here, this is the digital object identifier as I was explaining. I click export and I'm exporting the 63 documents to CSV file. So here is the document. You can see the abstract, everything exported nicely. Here I can use, let's say, chat to documents, etc., so that I can filter these further. So this is the abstract, as you can see, this it appears a bit condensed, but it shows all the search results in one click. Uh, I can just, uh, suppose I want to cite these uh, references or let's say create bibliography. I can go again to create bibliography and just click select. And again, let's resume the steps. We choose APA style. There are other styles here. The seventh edition, I think is still being developed and then creates bibliography so here it is you see how it's being exported there is a word of caution that it's not accurate we can just uh, refine it further but i think it looks uh, in a good shape like this but it can be refined further the bibliography is sorted alphabetically and there is this hand in indentation. I can just copy and paste this to Word document while I still work on the Excel file. So this is a really good way to extract data and work on large 
a set of studies for literature review that cites, for example, 60 studies or so on average. The second uh, website is Web of Science. Again, here I can just search documents or journals and then search journals here. I can find journals here rather than articles. So this one is useful for publishing research articles, not finding them. We can find them here by filtering, let's say, uh, the journals, and then we can visit the journal and look at the articles published there. Uh, so this is as far as Web of Science is concerned. There is uh, another publisher that is usually indexed in Scopus and Web of Science, which is called Taylor and Francis, and it, it belongs to Routledge. Again, here I can just search the articles. Let's say a record scale and search. Again, there are studies, as, we, as you can see. We can just download them. And what is good here is that I can download PDFs, especially articles that are open access. Here I can limit this to only show open access so that I can download the papers. So here I have all these possible uh, documents that are free of use or free of cost, so to speak. So here I can just select these. For example, I can choose even 50, uh, but for the sake of not wasting time, I can just choose uh, 10 and export search results. So here again, I will export this as CSV file. This is another exportation, but here I exported uh, 2000 I think uh, research entries. So this is a good way to export the data. Here I can download the PDF. You can see here I managed to download 2000 research entries with abstracts, with authors and everything. So uh, Taylor and Francis is really good. It's compared to Scopus in terms of getting the data as fast as possible. Here we can also download the PDFs as I said and click download and I will uh, have the chance to download these PDFs that appear. So here I can just create a folder in a single click. So you see these are 10 article PDFs. I can download them as a zip file, which is good. And then th that zip can be used uh, in terms of drawing the bibliography by using it say Zotero and working on Zotero or Mendeley so that we can manage the references and we don't need to do any extra work of referencing or citing, be it in-text citation or bibliography. Then we have Springer. Springer again is a bit complex. So Likert scale, I can just search for journals or research articles that contain the word Likert scale. Uh, so this is a way for you to get references, but still it's limited in the sense that we can just filter the results based on date of publication, based on our content type, chapters, conferences, books, articles, languages, among others. So this is the way we can filter the results here on Springer. Uh, then we have Wiley Publisher. Again, we can just search for this reference, this keyword, and then we can find journals, books, reference works, etc. Here I can just uh, sort them by date or relevance, and I can just uh, again sort them according to the time frame, the open access status, uh, the field, uh, the journals, the authors, among others. So these are the articles, but unfortunately, I can just export the citations, as you can see. And then I can just get them as plain text. It's like uh, Google Scholar to some extent. So this is the uh, citation, as you can see, it still needs to be formatted. So it's not in its final version. So another uh, publisher is Emerald. This is really good in terms of the quality of the research papers published here because it, it is known to follow rigorous methodology in terms of presenting the, the article content, so to speak. Again, I can just download the papers that have this, let's say, 
search I can have them as PDF etc I can sort them by relevance or by date I can download the citation so it only shows one form of download in the citation which is R I S in Zotero so here we can just link it with Zotero if it is installed to our laptops uh, that's it I can get the articles but I need to do this manually then we have the sage journals so again I can search for Likert scale and start searching for articles or re related materials here I can save the search here I can filter or sort the research results by most downloaded most cited to measure the impact etc let's measure the impact of what paper here is more cited this one uh, so it's about misinformation on uh, social media when it comes to COVID-19 here I can export citations and edit the search so this is how I can export these citations copy or download that's it still it's limited but the, more or less the same filters are available everywhere so these are the top websites that you can use to get let's say articles or studies for your academic research if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon